Welcome back to the AB Scale Project. I'm Krieger, and this is Alpha Bravo. And in this episode, we got a request for Hotshot, so we'll lead off with him, and then go into some more support characters that were in the IDW comics. The Hotshot name started as a spy changer in the Robots in Disguise 2001. The character we all know picked up in the next series, Armada, where he was a kid appeal character who matured through the Unicron trilogy. Later, he appeared in the IDW comics as one of the Kaminist colonists, but everyone knows him best as a lover of Jam. For the toys... Our recolor stand-ins are RID 2001 Optimus Prime for the yellow recolor that was used as Shotimus Prime in the Fun Pub side story. My getaway custom for the Cybertron car mode. Transformers Collectors Club Dion for the universe. The Age of Extinction Crosshairs is standing in for the Age of Extinction. And it's also a height stand-in for the Prime version. And then Sideburn here is in for the Spy Changer. The Hoverplane Rescue Bot version is standing in for all the different versions of him in that series. For most of these, the series molded his best representation for that series. Especially Cybertron, where they even had the screw holes in the animation model. So a few of these we can run through quickly. The Spy Changer is best one for RID 2001 appearance. The Energon is the best for Energon. The Yellow Prime is best Shotimus Prime. Pick your mold for the Rescue Bots since they get, went through alt modes like toilet paper on that show. And the Car Cybertron Mold for the Car Cybertron Mold. For non-G1, IDW, or Unicron Trilogy appearance, we can remove the Prime and AoE. For playability, we can remove the McDonald's. Now we're to a place where there will be options. We'll start with the Cybertron Truck Mode. We've got the Cybertron and the Gen Selects. While the Gen Selects looks really good in these colors, the Cybertron is more screen accurate. So, it wins. Between the Universe and the Armada, there's some give and take. For static display, the Universe wins. For the amount of articulation points, the Universe wins. For playability, the Armada wins. Because I keep popping the wing bits off of in, in transformation with the Universe and the kibble gets in the way of articulation. So I'm gonna call the original Armada the winner. So the original Armada and all its various recolors is a winner for our Armada and IDW. The universe may have more joints, but this one won't come apart when you play with him. Plus all the gimmicks they put in him don't completely kill the articulation like it does in a lot of Unicron Trilogy toys. Next up I'm gonna look at Maybe there are a couple in Prime, definitely a couple in IDW. Knockout and Breakdown. The incarnations we're dealing with started in the Prime cartoon and were carried over into the IDW comics where they were representatives for the Velocitron on the Council of Worlds. For Breakdown, the main molds for him were the Prime Voyager and the Unite Warriors that's a recolor of Off-Road here. Obviously, for the IDW comics, they use the Prime Voyager. So the Off-Road is out. For Knockout, most of his prime molds were variations of the Robots in Disguise mold here, and he had a movie version that was a recolor of Reverb here. Again, IDW used a prime appearance, so the movie is out. So the winners are the Prime Breakdown and Knockout. These guys look great, they look great together, and they're great toys in their own right. Who's the smartest shark around? Who's the coolest shark in town? It's Skybite. This guy hit the scene in Robots in Disguise 2001. He was the quirky second-in-command that loved the spin of verse He was featured in several other pieces of media, ending up in Cyberverse cartoon most recently. In IDW, he was a neutral who liked to hang out in shark mode and recite his poetry. For the toys, standing for height, Cyberverse Battle Class Shockwave is standing in for the Cyberverse Battle Class and One Step Changer, and MP Ironhide for the KFC Haiku. For recolor, Energon Sharkcon is standing in for the Botcon recolor. For IDW appearance, the Botcon is out. For scale, he should be close to a Voyager as shown here next to Starscream. Of course, you could also say Metal Hawk should be a deluxe, so they're all deluxes. So the Cyberverses and the KFC are out for not fitting into either class. We're down to the original RID 2001 and the Thrilling 30. Honestly, both work well for your IDW shelf. 
The T30 really doesn't have many features over the original, but I will give it to the T30 though, because the shark mode is closer to the IDW appearance and the robot mode is a lot less kibbly. So the winner is the Thrilling 30. This guy has some issues with hollowness and hand orientation, but still, it's a fun mold and a great representation of the character. Thanks for joining us today on the AB Scout Project. If there's a character you'd like to see, put your request in the comments below. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see y'all later.